What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. We got news coming in left and right. This is exciting stuff. The season is, is literally upon us right now. So what we're talking about today, the practice squad, all the cuts happen, 53 rosters set, and now we're trying to bring guys back. We're trying to get this thing filled up to bring back our own guys. As you can see, Greg Allman reporting here, lots coming in, but confirmed these Bucks cuts returning on practice squad are Ryan Griffin. He is back. Uh, Devin Tompkins, huge preseason standout. Galen Geiger, another big preseason standout. J.J. Howland, Don Gardner, Mike Green, Will Pavilion. So that's the immediate ones coming in. Plus, who's the best, biggest takeaway from this one, and what do you think of it? Yeah, I think it's good, and most of these guys were expected. Obviously, Devin Tompkins was the, the big name, and it's great that he's back with the team. Again, another receiver that can be a development prospect, but also he can help you on special teams and do a lot of different things. So, you know, that's, that's good that they were able to bring uh, those guys back, and we have – more guys that they brought back as well. Yeah, you see on the, on the screen right now, running back Patrick Laird, J.J. Russell, another young linebacker. I think that was one of their biggest competitions to see who would make the roster was inside linebacker. Badakoski ended, ended up getting that, but Russell was another very young, fast, athletic linebacker they probably thought about. Uh, and then Laird's probably just for depth for running back position. And then also offensive lineman John Molcom would be the team's third center, also signing back in the practice squad. Two big names that aren't on there just yet because they're looking for other opportunities because it did so well in preseason are our seventh round pick over here, Andre Anthony and wide receiver, Jareth Stearns. So that's big talking points there. So such a shame. <laughs> so I guess talking point on that, how do you feel? Do you think they'll be back or are they going to find better opportunity? Uh, again, they could still come back, but like you said, better opportunity uh, might be out there. It's tough positions that they both play to find a way on this roster. You know, receiver obviously is already loaded. And then outside pass rusher, again, very strong, depth, deep, hard hard to make it on the team. Uh, so, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they find a place where maybe it's more closer to home or, you know, just a better opportunity overall. Uh, quicker playing time, more money, ability to be in an actual roster right now, that'd be insane. So, I mean, a lot of things are going on right now. It's action-packed. This is a fun time of football until actually the pads go on and people start hitting each other. This is it. Your 53 is set. Your practice squad is formulating right now. But overall, exciting stuff. I hope hope Andre Anthony does come on. We have just a good good track record with the LSU guys. Jeff Stearns, I mean, at least we got to keep one of them. And Devin Tompkins, who I really liked a lot. He just didn't get the the looks in the, in the end zone like Jeff Stearns got. But, I mean, overall, guys, what do you think of the practice squad? How's it formulating? Are you up for it? Do you like it? Do you hope Stearns or Anthony comes back sincerely? Let us know down in the comments below. Like the video. Help support the channel. And with that said, until the next one.